I am starting with the iconic London spray setting spray now this has some shimmer particles in it so once you spray it out it kind of sets you know really nicely it gives you this glowy dewy finish which is what I like I've used this as well like my primer spray and then after that since I don't have like a proper primer primer I'm using the elf halo glow this is my absolute favorite one this is not a new one so I'm just not gonna talk much more about it in detail for the foundation i have the newly launched mars foundation now this is extremely full coverage i'm in the shade 05 as you can see it is matching my neck and it does oxidize as well which you will just see i'm using a kabuki brush on one side of my face right now and as you can see over here it is getting blended in beautifully it also goes ahead and you know covers up your acne scars and hyperpigmentation very very easily now i'm gonna reduce the brightness of my camera just a little so you can see the difference but with a brush or a beauty blender it is getting blended in beautifully uh, there are eight to nine shades which i think but as you can see it literally looks so freaking natural for a beauty blender it gives you a very seamless coverage as well as you can see over here i honestly prefer a brush i don't know why it's it's also sometimes on my mood but with both the finishes the foundation is looking really really nicely it does not have a fragrance which is amazing it also comes with a pump which is great so this was the foundation and this is how it looks i really like it for the concealer i'm using the smashbox hello concealer i am in the shade mn20 now this has a pen type of a packaging which you just twist it and the concealer will come out i like the packaging of it and i love the shade honestly because i like to go a bit deeper in my concealer shade so that it color corrects as well as you know conceals my under eyes it does both the job in one so as you can see once i blend it out it is extremely liquidy and lightweight you do not even feel like you have uh, wearing a concealer in your on your eyes right so i again i feel like this is like a 10 on 10 absolutely love it if you are on a budget i'm not sure you know if you like it but yeah definitely try it out if you are looking to splurge on a concealer then i'm going ahead with my regular eyeshadow and my powder because i don't have any new of those for the new eyeliner i have the l'oreal infallible eyeliner this is the pot packaging the packaging is very cute and small which is travel friendly now the actual tip of the eyeliner it pretty flimsy and i'm not the best at creating eyeliners as you can see like mujhe bahut mehnat lagta hai so uh, the tip although it is good it is not stiff you can say so if you want something which is stiffer i would say go ahead with the nyx one or the rare beauty eyeliner but if you want like a pot liner this is a really good one it is extremely black as well for the mascara i have the panorama mascara from l'oreal now the wand of this is extremely stiff it can also hurt your eyes sometimes this is a lengthening mascara as you can see it did not give much much volume but it did give a good length to my lashes if you don't have length to your lashes you should definitely try it out then i have the iconic london blush this literally was a flop you'll just see in a minute why because it this does not look on indian skin tones this is the shade rose riot and literally it was i can't even see this so then i went ahead with the shade uh, blush from smashbox halo glow lip and cheek tint this looks extremely pink as you can see it is extremely intimidating but once you blend it out i again used my fingers to blend it out you can also use a beauty blender or a brush it is sheer it literally goes sheer it looks like nothing and like a in a good way you know it's like a glow from within kind of a look so i took it again and it is a buildable formula so you can build it up according to the choice of however pigmentation you want to you know on your face so if you want to go all in go ahead apply two or three times or if you want like a sheer finish just apply one small layer of it i'm again using a brush and applying it and as you can see the coverage is a bit more now it is buildable so that's how it is looking again i really like this one for my highlighter i'm using this one from uh, tipsy beauty this is their cream highlighter it looks very similar to the charlotte tilbury wands and it is also extremely blinding as well you just need one small dot and you're done for my lips i'm using the l'oreal's newly launched liquid lipstick this is in the shade 120 it is pretty amazing i love the packaging and the doe foot applicator it makes the 
you know process extremely easier to apply the lipstick on as you can see and you just need one like small dunk you do not have to go again and again in the lipstick to apply because the pigment is there so you don't need a lot of product so it is a perfect mauve shade suitable for all indian skin tones for my gloss i'm going with the new gloss from mars cosmetics just look at it oh my god i love it i'm gonna link the you know product links in the description but just i love it if you're a gloss person this is a you know pigmented gloss this is a mauve shade gloss it is looking absolutely phenomenal and it does not even have a fragrance whatsoever again you do not need much more of it so that was the look using all the new products which i have from all these cosmetic brands let me know what do you think and make sure to watch these videos and do not forget to subscribe for more such videos bye